published by VT Digger. It's a report Adjutant General Stephen Cray took issue with today. In the wake of negative press and what he calls his toughest week as a service member, Vermont's Adjutant General is pushing back. I vehemently disagree with and dispute the negative characterization of our members and our culture in recent me media coverage. The Flying Fraternity is a seven-part series published by VT Digger. It alleges excessive drinking at the so-called Afterburner Club on base. On a case-by-case -case basis, there was alcohol um, after hours. Inadequate sexual assault policies. The cases were handled correctly, professionally, and appropriate action was taken. And exaggerated <laughs> troop numbers and delayed discharges that led to higher staffing. We looked at the process, d dis discovered inefficiencies in the process and made changes to the process. Major General Cray also took issue with the number of sexual assaults reported since 2013. He says 33 were received, 14 of which were identified to have involved a guard member as the offender. The other 19 cases came before 2013 which suggests that members now have greater confidence in the system to come forward. Governor Phil Scott learned of these allegations along with the public. While disappointed, he says there will be no investigation launched by his office. If more information comes up that leads me to believe that, uh, that, that the processes and, and protocols weren't adhered to, uh, we'll take another look. Cray admits there is room for improvement and has formed an action plan to include better transparency and prevention efforts. There's an opportunity in all of this to, to, to improve and, and make changes to, uh, to policy, and that is something that we should look at and um, at a national level, not just here in Vermont. Cray says the National Guard Bureau, which administers the country's guard units, is aware of the articles and allegations, but he doesn't know if any action will be taken. Now, the Major General has since announced his plans to retire at the end of his current term next year. He says it's been in the works for quite some time. Meanwhile, Vermont is the only state where the Adjutant General is selected by the state legislature, a process Governor Phil Scott says he's not fond of. It's demeaning, I believe, for those going through the process, and I'm not sure that we get all the information we should. I would go to, uh, I would advocate uh, for a judicial nominating type approach. Cray was first elected to the post of Adjutant General in 2013, but has been a member of the Guard in some capacity for 34 years. Lauren.